So. So this is what you have to do. The two to three <coughs> notes has to be there and some leaves left over. If the leaves are way too big, then what you do, you cut this one off too. <laughs> Make it slightly shorter by and now you need to get a tray and get some rooting hormones. So we will start with that, get a tray, and in order to stick the cuttings in, the trays are there, you have to fill it with media and bring it over. Don't miss anything, it's important. <laughs> no, Just the cutting. Yeah. Yeah. So we need like three places where it can grow with the hormone on the bottom and here we have one and on the right so, yeah. okay, so the first of the cutting and then for can we go to the story? <laughs> it right below an, a node so this oh, is a node this is called an internode yeah. because it's between two nodes so oh, you you clip it at this point because yeah. this is where the new roots are going to grow oh, so you okay. make sure there's at least two nodes above that yeah. are leafless oh great and then you put it in the rooting hormone at the node where it will root yeah and then you put it in the soil and pack it down ever so gently yeah and that's it Great. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. It doesn't need that much of water, so that's one of the, don't water it as much. Mm -hmm. And this doesn't have enough food in here because it is root bound already. So it is. Uh, and in fact, it's getting root rot. It doesn't have a lot of But that's because it is getting root rot. It's too much water. This is a succulent, drier, drier sort of situation. You can actually put this thing into a new media. And, and the next generation of leaves that comes out will be bigger and better. So do you want looking. Yeah. Would it help like the water? <laughs> no, yeah. just yeah. don't water it as much. <laughs> I can't help it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that the media is not appropriate for this. Maybe use the porous media. Yeah. This is yeah, our media really is broken down in this case. Yeah, I think this is the, uh, number four. Yeah, uh, number four sunshine. There is nothing, yeah. nothing in here. So get rid of this and then and don't put it in the mist bed. You know, and you can bury this guy and they'll come back up, or maybe divide them up into two. You know, just bury this guy, get another container, and bury it up. Bigger one, yeah. So, this will give you two plants. This is it's already mush. Yeah, basically what it's getting is root rot, and that's why the top is getting smaller and smaller. Okay, now I transplant this guy. Yeah, it'll get to be a gigantic one eventually. Actually, in, in at my grandparents' house, they have yeah. one growing up into the second story. Yeah, yeah. You should see the stuff in Hawaii, <laughs> and these leaves are 30, in, 30 inches in diameter. It's crazy. I have a hard time trying to get We're going to have to cut it <laughs> off, I'm imagining. <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll be able to squeeze it and pull it out. Those roots are pretty stuff. Well, yeah. yeah, it's so stuff in there. Yeah. And get rid of all the pieces yes. so that it produces new roots and, and goes in yeah. every direction. This one will girdle. If you, uh, if this is a fruit tree, if you plant it, it will strangle itself when it gets bigger. Because these roots will get bigger and bigger and it will just restrict the plant from going up. So that's what it will do. It's a good example. Can you like propagate this by cutting? Ah, oh, cutting. That leaf is not much good. Yeah. Yeah. The top? No. Bye, top. Only, only from the seed. Okay, the from the roots. That's right. Uh, okay. It can make its own. So this doesn't matter or? Um, 
Let's see. This is, this is just like uh, Naira was saying before. They have oh, they're getting okay. too much water and they're getting a lot yeah. of fruit rot. So that's oh, why. Oh okay. Yeah. They really look forward to it. Yeah. Finished. We'll yeah. stick it yeah. someplace. Yeah, yeah. So we had like one leaf on, so it gets the wooding hormone. <laughs> yeah. Now in the misting bed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the misting bed.